Hey everyone, so this should just be a quick little demo of the new MIDI keyboard, the virtual keyboard that Pro Tools has now that you can then control or record some uh, MIDI data. So it should be fun. Uh, I'm gonna, I've got an instrument track here with vacuum loaded up and a random preset. And if I record enable that, I can play on my MIDI, my regular MIDI keyboard and it'll play notes. But what if you don't have your MIDI keyboard? You can either draw in the MIDI notes, which can be a giant pain, or you can now go to Window, and then down to MIDI Keyboard. And that will launch this little MIDI keyboard window. And you will notice that the notes do not line up with these letters. This is set up like the layout of a piano for your regular computer keyboard. So A, and then up if you look at your keyboard, as long as it's a, you know, kind of regular English keyboard, it might be different depending on if you're in a different country. But the way that it's set up here is A, and then I kind of go up a key on my keyboard diagonally, and I get W. And then, if you want, I'm not loving this one. Let's try a different one. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> okay, ready? So, if I want to record, I can now just play my computer keyboard with whatever my thing is, right? Whatever my preset is. So hit record, then play. And our count off is happening. Okay, and there we go. So now I can just play, right? So super easy. You can also click these keys to record. So you don't even have to do it on the computer keyboard if you don't want to. There we go, count off is happening. There we go. Okay, so I can click here too with the mouse. Cool, so just a couple other little things. So Z and X change the octave. So if I hit X a couple times on my keyboard, you'll notice the octave goes from C, it was at C3, now it's at C5. And then if I play one of these, it's up really high and then I can hit Z, it'll drop it. I'm not clicking that, I'm just using my keyboard. And then I can type A. And if I hit Z, it'll drop the octave, it should sound like a lower A. As much as that note sounds like an A. And then C and V are for how hard you're hitting the key since your computer keyboard can't register how much velocity you're hitting with. C and V can help you set that so that your notes can have a little bit more human-like feel, right? This particular preset doesn't have a whole lot of dynamic range. And if I add to it, V. There we go, now we can hear it. And then we're getting a little tone color change there too. So V way up high, and, and then I'm gonna hold down C, drop the velocity. Got softer sounding. Like, Right, so you can play with the velocity and get different tone colors and kind of different volume out of those, right? Different amplitudes. Cool, so that's the MIDI keyboard. So you can use this really simple setup to do some recording even when you don't have a MIDI controller handy. All right, that will be all. See y'all soon.